Magno Rojo, Studio 254. Magno, thanks for taking the time to share with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. Hey, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, my background, um, I was born in the Philippines and I went to school and uh, graduated fine arts in the Philippines. Um, after all of the uh, uh, things that was going on at that time, the, uh, we were having lots of riots and the martial law was, uh, you know, was declared and um, the uneasy of the, the situation in the Philippines. Um, my mother and father said, why don't you just go ahead and move to the United States with your sisters? Both of my sisters are already in the United States. And so, because my father is an American citizen, I have a dual citizenship and was able to get out of the Philippines right away. 1974 is when I get to the United States. Um, Staying in New York with my sisters, um, having a, back, a background in fine arts, it's kind of hard to get started in, 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 in fine arts and doing paintings or what have you. But um, I was able to get some jobs. I started at a, uh, comp a greeting card company in New York City. And I stayed as a graphic designer in New York City from being a production artist to art director in New York until um, my my older sister and her husband, they're both doctors, had a um, uh, a group of medical doctors that wanted them to join them join them in Fairfield, Ohio. Okay. So they moved to Fairfield and. They settled and everything, and um, they said, "Come on, come on and visit, visit us here." So um, I visited, I visited them in in uh, Ohio, the tri-state area, right. you know, that that's that, that area there, and um, there was a uh, the Filipino community festival. And I don't know if it's, uh, you know, uh, my, you know, meant to be. I met my wife there, I fell in love with and this destiny. So, uh, long story short, I moved to Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. I left uh, um, New York and moved to Cincinnati. Got got a job in in a, a different art um, art agency in Cincinnati. And, um, pub and two publications that I'm um, art director ship in, in all, both of those. Retired in somewhere like 2005 or 2007 and started trying to uh, pursue what I want right. as a painter because I'm a fine arts graduate anyway. <laughs> exactly. So um, got a studio at Essex at that time and met, met a, a, a beautiful mentor teacher uh, by the name of Karen Hibben Street and she taught me you know classical painting and, and portraiture. Incredibly talented. And that's, that's where I kind of started in, 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 in being in, in this environment, Essex yeah. and the artists and the Cincinnati Art Club. So now how did you come up with your style of art? You have a lot of layering and a lot of texture uh, depth. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so now let's uh, go back to where I started as a classical painter or uh, representational, if you will. Um, that's what I was doing before. And I joined a group of plein air um, artists, which we go out and paint, you know, every, every you know, so many different way, uh, yeah. areas, locations. At one point, we were in one of the rural uh, places in, in northern K in Kentucky, where was this beautiful barn, and you know the scenery is fantastic. But the reason, the the only problem with that is that it's uh, it's right there on the street, almost 
to the you know the road there's no place to to pull in with your car and stuff like that right so I, so I was right there by the by the, the by the road and painting away but you know um, there's this guys on four wheel wheel trucks and stuff drinking beer and uh. throwing beer cans at me and so I thought oh my gosh I you know what what else can they throw at you yeah. so then um, I I um, was thinking maybe it's better to paint in my studio since I know a lot of like these places sure. and um, and so I decided to paint first I start, started painting water, water lilies and um, I thought this is something that maybe I can can come up with uh, you know a, a more modern take in impressionism so it's still very impressionistic as you can see but the the layering the thick and bright colors and um, you know the subtleties in in that and the colors uh, I want you to look at it in a face value and then go in and look into it and that's what that this, this style somebody had told me that this is more like a uh, uh, contemporary impressionism well yeah. that's me now <laughs> contemporary impressionist very so good, this is, very good. So tell us a little bit about your process. When when you go to do a piece, do you already have it in mind exactly what you're going to do, or does the painting kind of talk to you as you as you go into it, or what, what's your process? I'm um, I'm more or less right now uh, trying to compose a um, a piece, meaning meaning um, it has to have uh, a poetic under undertone. Of what you're looking at you know it's not just because it's a beautiful um, image there, there should be something that that goes with it um, some of my um, my water lilies are a place where I mean it's only it's only um, composed in my brain in my mind um, this is this is not somewhere there's nothing like this somewhere, but you look at it and it's so familiar. Right. And um, so I'm trying to 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 impart a little bit of a poetry. Like for example, some of my uh, my my uh, figure or faces of these ladies and men, um, it's they have their eyes closed to make it so that it's not too direct and staring at you. I want you to stare at them and right, right. And, and feel what they're thinking. So there that's what I'm, I'm, that's how my process in painting. All right, right. So now how long total have you been part of the essence? Okay, so um, in 2005, I was here for I, I had two I had two studios here one was way in the back and then I, and I was there for about maybe three or four years then I moved downstairs with a little bit a little uh, you know a more spacious studio and the total would be nine years here at Essex yeah but after that I moved out and uh, got a studio near where I live in Northern Kentucky and uh, stayed there for seven years. Got it. And about two months ago, I moved back to the Essex. So now you keep coming back to the Essex. Tell us a little bit about the advantage of being here at the Essex. Oh my gosh, there's too many to, to mention. One of them is the camaraderie, the, the, the artists, Hundreds of artists are housed here at the Essex. You can exchange ideas, you know, with with them. They are so, you know, uh, giving of their time. You, if the door is open, you come, you you, you say hi, I'm Magno, and uh, introduce yourself, and 
and that's you know that's the um, the start yeah they will they will come to your studio and so on and so forth and and um, it's it's just it's convenient it is um, spacious even though it's a small one you know studio but but you come to Essex and you, you I mean it, it's it's a working a working studio right nothing here is just for display everybody All about the art you can concentrate right that's that's what I have so in love about this <laughs> hey what, what would you say to aspiring artists? somebody that's just getting into it or maybe somebody that's kind of caught in a rut and you know we all kind of shift directions a little bit yeah. through our careers like you just said yeah uh, little words of inspiration yeah well we all know that we started you know there we started somewhere you know so for the young ones that are thinking of getting into the art world um, they don't be afraid of making mistakes that's the biggest thing make a lot of mistakes and learn from everyone and learn from every one of them and don't be afraid don't say oh, yeah, this is you know ugh. just keep on doing do a lot do make a lot of art make a lot of art and and you know that, makes that, makes you, that makes you happy <laughs> that's that's my <laughs> what I, I, I can. agree a hundred percent hey Magno thanks so much for taking the time to share oh. with us today I really appreciate it no and thanks for coming back to the Essex oh thank you so much Brad <laughs>